Hello, Halbred. I'm back from Thor's Coom, and it looks like things are settled there now. How are things going on here? I have bad news. We have found Ergathorn. He is dead. Oh, wonderful. One of the scouts of the Okluth found Ergathorn's body this morning. Yes, they found his body behind a fall of rocks on the southern edge of the Coom. I think he was ambushed from hiding, as Wadu was, though it is strange that he was not slain by sword, arrow, or bolt. He was killed by hand, the life choked out of him. For now, his body is being kept in the Hall of Making, to the northeast. You should examine Ergothorn's body to see if we can learn anything more about his fate. Right. And that will be over he Oops, no, not there. Here. Here is Orgathorn's body. Hmm. Anything I'd notice here? It is as Halbred described. The man is wearing armor of Gondor and has no sword wounds on his body. But he is dead. I notice this grab a parchment clutched in one hand, and are pry it loose and read. To the rangers, the dwarf has already told your foe much, and I fear that it will be enough to endanger not just your errand, but the delicate situation in Dunland as well. Things are not as he thought they were, but they soon will be. He has been slowed by his uncertainty concerning the errand of your company, but not stopped. Though they who swore the oath of Isildur at Erech, you know of them and of their home beneath the uh, Dwimmerborg, but you do not know that some number of them sought to flee their curse and came to hide in the place called the Forsaken Road, among the Lich Bluffs. If they could be made to fulfill their oath to their chieftain's forebearer, all might not be lost. Not all remember the old ways, but I do, for Ethel that was lost, and for all else that was forgotten, I remain Ergothorn. All right. Now, I've never really quite understood what to make of it, and I suspect they perhaps left that intentionally a little ambiguous. I found this letter on his body. He was unable to deliver that letter in life. He has done so in death. I know not who set upon him in the wilderness, far from safety, but I believe it is the foe of which he speaks, or an agent of that enemy. I believe now that Ergothorn's enemy is our enemy as well. But now at last it becomes clear. Whoever killed Ergothorn can move stealthily and strike without warning. He must choose to use neither sword nor bow. If this mysterious foe can move about without the knowledge of his prey, he may have overheard our conversations. If he too speaks with Nar, th that could be a source of the dwarf's information, but twisted into a form unbeknownst to Nar himself. And it all comes back to the Oathbreakers. Is Ergothorn right? Could they be compelled to fulfill their oath? If we can learn that, this is possible within the Forsaken Road. That will be a great boon for Aragorn. Speak with Radanir at our campsite in the grove of trees east of Lanuch. Tell him that I want this investigated. The question is, is this note planted to lure us to the Forsaken Road? Or was this a sincere thing and that he was killed for it? But if he was killed for it, then why wasn't the note stolen? Ah, as I said, I suspect it was left intentionally ambiguous. 
How about a little trip to the Forsaken Road? Oberon's wishes are my own as well. Yes, we will walk the Forsaken Road and see what lies within. All right. We must learn if Aragorn can compel the Oathbreakers to fulfill their oath. If Urgothorn is right, a number of Oathbreakers fled from the Grimmerberg after Isildur cursed them and left Gondor. They traveled through the trackless wilderness seeking to escape the curse and came at last to the Leech Bluffs. Did they find what they sought? Or did they come to realize that there was no escaping the curse? I do not know. But if we can find the Forsaken Road where this group finally remained, we may learn something to our advantage. We may learn if e Aragorn can compel them to fulfill their oath. I have spoken with Rode, the scout who found Urgothorn's body. He knows where the entrance to the Forsaken Road is and will show us the way. Talk to me when you're ready and we will assemble a group of rangers to investigate. Yes, let us investigate. We have come to walk the Forsaken Road, but a group of Oathbreakers sought to escape their curse. Is it possible that Aragorn might compel them to fulfill their oath? We seek to learn if it is so. Of course, we have one little detail. Uh, Aragorn is not with us. What do you say? This is an evil place, Pineleaf. And the dread of it lies like a cloud upon my limbs. And so cold, I should think I would never be warm again. This is a place of the dead, kept by them throughout the long years. Will they rally to Aragorn's cause? We will learn if this is so. Stay alert. We will not know what will happen. The men who seek labor still. Un oh, what careless toil. Oh, let me see. Stay alert. We do not know what we will find along the road. The men who seek must labor still under the Isildur's curse. What ceases toil has their carelessness gives them, cowardice given them. Hold! There's a presence here. Show yourself! All right. I finally caught up. Good. Well, he wishes to speak with me. Cursed. He's a cursed Mariner. I guess the Mariner were the men of the mountain, I guess. Who dares disturb this place? Who dares venture where only the dead may walk? The living may not pass. This road is not for you. Turn back! Turn back while you still have the power to do so. Only the dead may walk the forsaken road. Come, my brothers! Come see these wayward children. Oops, some have banners. Who dares disturb the restless dead? I dare. And what is that to us? Why should the dead care who you are? Why? Because my chieftain, the heir of him to whom you took your oath. No! Stay on your guard, Pineleaf. These men are without honor. We are here to listen to their words. But we must remain cautious. Do you acknowledge the right of the sealer's hair to hold you to your oath? You have not been judged worthy of speaking, weak children. If you defeat me, perhaps Ritu will listen to your claim. Well, ouch! Well, I have to see about that. Hey, what is he? He is, of course, the dead. Hmm. I was about to say, what about some light oil, but I don't think that's going to help me much. 
Yeah. There you go. Add a little hop at hope there. And hopefully that'll help me a little bit. Ah. Is everyone all right? I see. You see now our strength. We are not to be trifled with, Marinier. <laughs> you cannot defeat me! I've heard that before. But, it, of course, most of those people are alive and are subject to the rules of living. And all sorts of stuff like that. So we do have that going on around here. How much dread is there? Plus four dread. Oh, wonderful fun. Fortunately, I got a plus two from Hobbit Hope here. That comes in handy once in a while. Have you had enough, Marinere? Your honor is gone, and only my chief teeth can restore it. That remains to be seen, warm blood. Well, he is certainly persistent, that's for sure. Well, we guess we'll have to see until either we give out or they give out, right? Right. Right, that's three times. Third time the charm? Yes. The Dunedine and their allies will not be cowed by the likes of you, Oathbreaker. Well, I desist, Dunedain. For now. You fight passing well for a child. Bretu will want to speak with you. Bretu always wants to speak with those who brave this road. Keep the chasm to your right, and you will find him. Right. Keep the chasm to the right. Yeah. All right, fine. Keep the chasm to your right. And, of course, don't fall in it. Definitely don't keep the chasm below your feet. Yes. All right. Yeah. And that helps to keep it to the right. And that doesn't look like a good place to fall. Yuckity yuck yuck. All right, we better get through here. As long as it's Hobbit, resilience lasts. Seven more minutes. Hopefully I can get through this instance by that time. All right. Well, the chasm is no longer there, but I think this is the end of the road. Hello! Maybe I should have... Do I have... I have one of these left. Hmm. Well, if there's any place I'm going to be needing it in the near future, this is it. So why not just use this and get rid of all the dread? Hello! Hey, and that gives me plus one... Plus one hope, yes! It was unwise for you to come here, warm bloods. This place belongs to the dead, who do not rest, and all your kind who stray here perish. Well, all those who stray here belong to the dead. You came to this place to escape your curse, Bretel, and you brought these men with you. But there is no escape, and you will never know the peace of death until you fulfill your oath. I will consider what you have to say. Well, what do you say about that kind of oath? This seems to be a good sign, Pineleaf. If the Oathbreakers will fulfill their oath to Isildur, we will command an army that the, the like of which was never seen here in Middle-earth. Surely victory will not be far behind. Well, you're getting ahead of yourself, I think. Yes, I will consider it. But not only if you can, but only if you can stand against the dead. Yeah, I get the message. Yeah, this is why 
thought maybe spending the hope token would have been a better idea than the hobbit hope. Ouchie daisy. Well, then, now, your turn. How about that? It was a parting shot when he stunned me there. A stunning departure. That's what I'll call it then. A stunning departure. And now? Who are you? Done! Witness the strength of the Dunedain and their allies. Yes, I am filled with fear of you. Perhaps these others will do. Oh, come on. That's rude. That is outright, completely, absolutely rude. I guess the one thing I should do is... And now for you. Oh, I didn't even get you in any of that? Good grief. Were you outside? No, it looks like I did get you some. No, that's something else, maybe. Never mind. Rito, enough of this. We need prove nothing to you. I think you do. Oh, I hate when they do that. Well, oops, wrong skill. Well, I guess a little dance won't hurt, right? And now, uh, hopefully, he'll bleed down while I finish this next bit. Oh, resisting! How rude! Fine. I'll finish you off then. Yeah. There you go. And now for you. Your turn. Actually, looks like he at least is a little bit down. Next. We did not come here to entertain your careless whims, Oathbreaker. And yet, you do so admirably. <laughs> come, my kin. Slay them. Wonderful. Simply, simply wonderful. Oh, well. well. I guess we can hopefully let that start to get them down a little bit. And now for you. Yeah. At least I timed that one a little bit better. It's hard to judge when to switch on these Oathbreakers, apparently. So I need to learn better with bleed and the deads, I guess. In this bread too, I command you. I need not listen to your commands, warm blood. Yeah. He's starting to get a little bit impatient, I think. Which is, can sometimes be a bit of a problem. Right? And now for you? Oh, that guy's already finished. All right. I've had times where this instance has been a whole lot tougher. I could say that. This is level 65. Of course, I think the previous times I've done this instance, I wasn't decked out with everything that I've done at the area. Hold! I have the authority to command you and all your kind, Brittau. For I, I am the heir of Isildur. Uh-oh. What evidence do you have of this? Only this, the ring of Barahir, heirloom of Isildur's line. I see. We will fulfill our oath at last, that the air may lift the curse. Tell your men. But that's not the ring of Barahir. And you're not the heir of Isildur. Well, yeah. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. That's sort of the thing about this. 
that they tried to use all these fake rings because they thought, well, these fake rings should pass muster for anything. Unfortunately, apparently the dead are not full. The dead have... Perhaps some of these had seen the original ring. And thus know it. Hmm. I suppose that's possible. Either that or they have some insight which the dead have. Which is also another possibility. Yeah, there are plenty of times where I've just ran through here. I've also had a couple times where that turned into a complete disaster. I don't think it'll turn into a disaster anymore since the instance isn't as bad as it used to be on that matter. Though I don't want to be next to him. Pain and suffering be yours. Yes, because I think if you don't leave the area, they could become rather nasty. So I will be here. Oh, come on! I, I don't like stunners. They're annoying. And they also throw me off my rhythm there. But we will deal with them. Because they are cursed, Oathbreakers. And now we'll take care of you too. Oh, and now you. I think this is the last one, is it? Oh, come on! Oh, okay. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, here we are. Uh, I think we've got a problem. What happened? All of a sudden, the Oathbreakers fell upon us, and we've only been driving them off at the moment. We have to get the uh, out of here. Right, let's get out of here. That did not go well. We knew there would be hardship on our road, but to happen so soon... Go to Coronir and tell him we are done with Sudragund and done with Nar. Yes, it is time we made ready to leave once again. And we want every ranger ready to depart. We have lost too many of our number to foolish detours. Enough! Go to Zudragon and tell Coronir that it is done. We ride at first light. I do not care what Nar may know or of what Ergothorn was afraid. I thought we could attain some secret, some new wisdom that would be of use to Aragorn when we came at last to Rohan. But I was wrong. There is no secret weapon, no easy victory. Go to Kornir and tell him we are done with Zudragon and done with Nar. I will go, and that's where you'll find me when I return for the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.